Hello everyone, let's program in this video a pipeline that's going to take data from this MySQL database that make join of four tables and make one single result and we are going to move this result to a Cassandra, a NoSQL database and all the result will be in one single table. So let's do that now. Now, just for you have sure that there is nothing in this database before the pipeline, we are going to drop this table. If we type here, describe table, we have here the two existing tables, news and rentals. And this data here, our pipeline is going to fill, we are going to insert in this rentals table. So before we start the pipeline, I'm going to drop this table and you have sure the result we are going to produce is going to be filled in runtime with the script execution. This is the code I have prepared to you. Just third line of codes that do the role pipeline. The co this code is available to be downloaded in the link I have set it below in the video description from GitHub. And basically what it does, here is the code to connect in one MySQL database, in this case, a local MySQL database. Um, this code here is the code that connect in a Cassandra client, our Astra Cloud Cassandra server, okay? These credentials, it's not valid anymore when you are going to see this video, so don't worry to copy, okay? The available code in GitHub, these credentials are empty. And Basically what it does, it takes the Cassandra client, drop the table if it exists. We have already deleted this table, drop this table before the execution. Then it's going to recreate the table and it's going to execute in MySQL the same select operation we have executed in the beginning of this video. And for each of the rows, it's going to insert that in the Cassandra database. It's are not going to print outputs here because of the delay the, the console log could could impact, but we can execute this code, okay? And now it's it's running. And as soon as it's done, we can return then to our Cassandra server and see the outputs. Now, just to see the results of our code, we can again ask to Cassandra, show to us the existing tables, we can see the rental table was recreated, and we could also ask to select the data from this table that should be here. Okay, we then from this select, and then we can see here how the data we have inserted using the Node.js program. Hello everyone, I'm Rafael. Thank you for watching this video. And if this content was useful for you, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you want content similar to that or any other content related to this tema, please just comment below, then we can have ideas for new videos. See you next time.